um, some of the things we want to talk about today. And I think, guys, when it comes to recruiting, you know, there's a there's a lot of sayings out there, but this is something that you you'd sent through to to us the other day, Jamie. And I hadn't actually seen it in this uh, this form before. I've seen the high slow fire fast, um, but you've got a, a different take on it to high slow and act fast. Can you just give us a bit of context to that? Yeah, look, essentially, um, you've got a higher slow in the sense that you you need a real methodical method of hiring. Um, mm. And, you know, I've learned this both from Ed and, and from um, a firm in America called Top Grading, um, a long story short. And in terms of hiring slow, you know, I, I go if I go to the extreme when I first started out, you know, I think the first person I hired, I gave them a job after a 20 minutes chat. And, you know, I had work just backing up. The paperwork was on my desk like this. And, you know, I just, I just remember saying to the girl, yeah, yeah, well, can you start tomorrow? <laughs> so the, it was all just, um, you know, it was reactive, as Dr. Stephen Covey would say, reactive, totally reactive. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you want to do the opposite of that. So you want, you want to have a real methodical systems driven way to hire people. Um, and that's to hire slow and that's to put walls in front of the people uh, that you're trying to recruit to make sure that they're going to be the right fit. Um, and, you know, and, and when we're recruiting, like as firm owners, it's really difficult because often a fish can't see water. Um, you know, we can't, you know, we'll, we won't see the bad attitude. We'll be sort of, we'll probably have rose colored glasses a lot of the time, like I did. And I won't see the person that I've hired actually, um, you know, is probably could be potentially the smartest person I've come across, but a really bad attitude. Um, yeah. And so that's, so in terms of hiring slow, yeah, the, the emphasis there is, is um, follow, uh, follow a method, follow a methodology that takes all the emotion out of it. Um, because you don't necessarily need to like the person. Sometimes we just meet people and we sort of instinctively like them. Um, and sometimes, we instinctively don't like them. And sometimes we call it intuition. You know, this is my intuition. This is my gut feel. And from my experience, um, that's, that's all rubbish. You know, that's all rubbish. What you want to do, you don't need to like the person um, in, in terms of them of getting a result or doing the job. You, they just need to get the job done and get a result. You don't need to like them <laughs> um, yeah. in a personality sense. And what I mean by act fast is, um, once you start the hiring process and you've got some good candidates, act fast. They won't last long. The good candidates go quickly, Brenton. So when you are hiring, you know, if someone puts an email in your inbox from Seek and they're a good candidate, don't take two days to get back to them because they won't be there. <laughs> you know, I've seen a lot of accounts in my experience. Oh, yeah, the, the, the CV will come in the inbox and I'll start the process and they won't get back to them in three days. So you, you'll lose them. So you've got a higher slow act fast. No, and I want to, I, I would like to drill into a couple of those things uh, that you've spoken about and I'll do so throughout the session because, you know, when I'd say a lot of ears are pricked up when you said you don't, you don't have to like your employees. Um, now, contrary to that, there's the, the conversation around culture and things like that. So I want to give that the right amount of context as well, but I'll, I'll touch on that slightly later in the session. Ed, um, anything to add on on this, um, you know, topic of of re reactionary hiring? You know, a lot of a lot of us are busy, and we're so busy that we know we need to hire, but then it kind of gets pushed to the side because the, there's work to be done. So, this this concept of hiring slow, acting fast, you're very much in line with it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I just echo what Jamie said. Uh, the really good staff go very quickly. So if you're procrastinating and um, you know taking time to, to act, you're gonna lose the good people. The, the really good people just want certainty. They want a job, they want certainty, they wanna they want, they want to work. And um, um, so if you're slow in acting, they'll, they'll, they'll act themselves because they, they act fast themselves. They're the good people, good people act fast. So if you're slow in acting, then you're gonna lose them. So I, I can't stress that enough. Yes, you, you, you put them through quite a lot of hurdles, okay, mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to, to determine attitude. Um, and then um, 
once you make a, a decision, you've got to act uh, very quickly. Um, but you know, the process of uh, deciding, uh, do it properly, and uh, don't just react to to the situation, but do it properly, because it's very expensive to get it wrong. Um, you know, it can cost cost quite a lot of money. So uh, generally, you'll, you you might lose you know two or three months whilst you're going through the the probation um, period. And then uh, you find out that they're the wrong person, so you let them go, and then you start again. So you've then lost, the, you know, you've lost another three months, and then you've got to start again. So effectively, you've lost six months, and uh, and that's very very expensive, and you know it's frustrating and the rest of it. So it's better to to go through the process properly. So it's 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 all about the the process. You know, there there are no. Um, you know, you, you don't hire bad people, you just have the wrong process. If you have the right process, uh, uh, hopefully the right person will come out of that process. 